This is a combination of two exercises. Exercise 2241A, creating an attribute extraction template, and 2242A, extracting attribute data. I've created an attribute extraction template, and let me tell you what we've got here. The BL colon tells me that this information comes from AutoCAD, and it's going to find the name of the block. It will allow 10 character spaces for this information. The last three digits are for decimals and they don't count when you're doing characters. Next line will be blank. The next four lines, type, size, rating, and price, these are all attributes that we've created. The first three will return character information. 15 spaces are allowed for the type, 5 for the size, and 7 for the rating. Finally, we have a price. The price will return a number. It will allow 10 spaces for the number and two decimal places. Please note that at the end of this text file, I have a single carriage return. That's really important. If you don't have this carriage return, it won't read the last line. Okay, let's close this. We'll go to AutoCAD. Here we are in the PID 22 Phase 2 drawing file. It's found in the Steps Lesson 22 folder. It has quite a few blocked valves, and we're going to extract the information from those valves. To extract the information, you begin with the dash ATTEXT command. It's important that you include that dash or AutoCAD will not read this particular command. AutoCAD asked me what type of file I'd like to create. I'm going to use, I'm going to create a space delimited file. AutoCAD is now telling me that I need to select the template file to use. We're going to use the my PID text file that we just looked at. AutoCAD wants to know the name of the file in which you want to put the extracted information. I'll accept the default and I want it to go into my Lesson 22 folder. At this point I pick Save and that's really all there was to it. AutoCAD tells me that it has extracted 20 records. Let's hide AutoCAD, find the file we created, and open it up. Here you see this is the information that AutoCAD has extracted from our drawing. Size, rating, price, and the type of, type of valve that we're using. You can now take this information and you can import it back into the drawing and use it as a table, or you can send the text file to your materials people and they can import the text file itself into their Excel spreadsheets and do their thing to order your supplies.